So to figure out the fifth term, you're going to use the rth term formula. which is written this way. So whatever term you're looking for can be done with doing a combination, an n, c, r minus 1. Now, without a calculator, we'll talk about how to handle that in a second. This last exponent here is the bottom number from your combination, the r minus 1. So the exponent on the second term is r minus 1. And the exponent on a, the first term, is n minus r minus 1. Or you could say n minus r plus 1 if you distribute the negative. So this is the rth term formula, as you might see written down. Now to find the fifth term of a something to the 13th power, that's a 13. 5 minus 1 is 4. The first term is 2a. The second term is negative b. The bottom number here, the 4, the r minus 1, is the exponent on the second term. The middle, or the, the first term, the exponent that goes in the middle here, is what you get when you subtract these two numbers in parentheses, the n and r minus 1. So 13 minus 4 is 9, because these two numbers always have to add to equal 13. So, Technically, you need to know what 13C4 is, but it's non-calculator. So you won't necessarily know that it's 715, but I do right now, so I'm going to type it right there. And I'll tell you how it's going to be, how you're going to handle it on the test. 2 to the ninth, A to the ninth. So 2 to the ninth. that's also a big number. You might not know that. You could probably figure it out. I think it's 512. But without a calculator, you might struggle with that, but that's okay too because that won't matter. Negative b to the fourth. So since it's a negative, it's an even power, it turns positive. It's just b to the fourth. So if you had a calculator, you'd multiply 715 times 512 if you even knew what those numbers were. And then you would have a to the ninth, b to the fourth. But this is a non-calculator portion of the test, so you won't have a calculator, so you also don't want to spend 20 minutes multiplying that out and figuring all that out. But since it's multiple choice, your options might just have the common mistakes, which the common mistake would be having the negative b to the fourth, you might get a negative answer. Or you might mix up your exponents and forget to subtract the one from that. And you would have b to the fifth and a to the eighth. So my guess is that if this was a multiple choice test, these would be your four options, A, B, C, and D. They all have the same number, so it doesn't matter what they multiply to you because it's obviously going to be 366,080 when you multiply all those numbers out because that's the only option. But what you're looking for is to see if it's a negative or a positive and what those exponents need to be. So the math doesn't actually matter. You're checking the exponents and you're checking the sign of your answer. So to check your exponents, you just have to make sure you get the r minus 1 correct. You get 4 in this case. 
and then know that it's going to be a positive because negative to the fourth power is going to be positive and everything else will work out just fine.